Despite the rise in digital migration in the business world, shopping plazas are still springing up in Kano, giving the impression that traders there are yet to embrace online transaction. Salim Ibrahim reports that while construction and rehabilitation of plazas continue, the emergence of mobile delivery is however changing the business landscape of the Asian city. Here's his report. The face of almost all major streets in Kano nowadays are changing for the better as new plazas are being erected and old ones being demolished to pave way for the construction of new ones or undergo serious rehabilitation. This is as the digital era has come with dynamic changes aiding business activities in this 21st century. It is observed that one who is out of Kano for at least a year may get lost major and popular streets like Zoo Road, Zaria Road, Medugu Road, Tarawni, Buke Road and their environs because of the changes in buildings around these places. This is aside the booming market areas, which are practically populated with buildings or plazas, identified as gida, meaning houses in the local dialect. These buildings are plazas housing no fewer than 100 shops each. The coming up of plazas, which are known to be at strategic places within the metropolis, is now springing up even outside as they are now the face of almost every street. It was carried that an average plaza under construction in Kano is now being taken by people even before it is ready because of the high demand. However, a look at some of the popular plazas shows that on average, business owners rent a shop just for the purpose of keeping a business address and identity, but not for the day and day use. These businesses or businessmen and women could only be seen on once in a while coming to their shops when they have a meeting or the likes while some of them keep secretaries to keep the place alive. The question is, how is business being done in these places? Speaking on the trend, a young business owner who sells caps, textile materials, designer shoes and perfumes said his shop serves as just a store while 80% of his customers are coming online. As businesses are growing, ours also grows because most of them need us to function properly. Although businesses are selling online now, they however need us to deliver their goods to their customers. I started with just two motorcycles but now I have four and they are always busy going from one place to another. Due to the high demand, sometimes one has to collect as much as possible within an area to deliver. It's really thriving. Our own business is about food and snacks that people order on special occasions or from the comfort of their offices or even for their children in school. We have thousands of followers and we also take advantage of prospective clients who order what we produce on a daily basis. While some come here to get theirs, most of them get it through delivery services. Honestly, all our customers are online. However, the proliferation of these plazas in Kano have given birth to and more life to business of home delivery as the business also thrives along. It is observed that the business of delivery service is now an independent business on its own as the demand for the service continues to grow. However, the development, it was gathered that some business owners now have their own system of delivery as they purchase their vehicles for delivery and employees ride or drive. Salim Umar Ibrahim reporting.